The quest of Omonoba to get back the looted artifacts dates back to his days as an ambassador. Years after, he is still championing that cause. His foundation, the Oba Ewai Foundation, is also set up to fine-tune modalities for the safe return. The Oba told the delegates from Germany that he doesn't want a third party involved when plans of bringing it back is executed, as he says it belongs to the people of Benin and its return will be beneficial to them. We are not asking that all the artifacts be brought back, simply that some of them be brought back, so that we can set up the palace museum right in front of the palace that has always been our tomb. We do not expect anybody else to hold our properties for us. It sounds a little bit odd you know, for any other third party to collect our properties, to collect our artifacts, to, to be in custody of our artifacts. Prior to the arrival of the German delegation, there have been dialogue with nations holding these crafts looted from Benin in 1897. A detailed brief of all that has been done towards the return was presented on behalf of the Oba. In it are museums across the world housing the looted items and conversations with the authorities over there on how it can come back to its original home. At this level of productive engagement geared towards bringing considerable restitution to a tragedy of monumental proportions inflicted on the people of Benin was the end of the 19th century. The Director General, who listened to all the findings from the palace, is hopeful that his fact finding mission to Nigeria on the said matter will yield positive results. We cherish the engagement of the Royal Palace within the entire group. That our decision is the fruit and partly the result of the ongoing discussions. The Oba of Benin presented a copy of his Red Book, which weighs about 7 kg, to the President of Germany through the Director General and other gifts for his team too. In Benin, Yvier Uyahi.